let's see the quick demo of olama cloud model which is completely free as of now and now i just build this application you know uh, dot net aspire application with blazor it integrate ai uh, olama local so where i just integrate that cloud model and here you can see this is that cloud model is available in my running in the local and i can simply just prompt it is my ai agent as well as that ai chat so simply i just prompt this okay how get started with ai so when i hit enter and i'm just getting that response with the cloud now see how get that response quickly without any gpu and cpu so that i can show you in the parallel over here see there's a no gpu and cpu is utilized for this you know request and response with the ai olama model and now we are get all that response quickly same things we can uh, using the ai agent as well so i just create the TA agent so i can just use that same model like that cloud model all of my cloud model and if i see enter so it will just write a story this agent actually will write a story about this particular topic now see i'm getting that response how quickly over here and now they are writing that story and after that they will edit the story so this agent actually does this possible that write and edit now see they're trying to edit the story so using that same model uh, without any gpu and cpu utilization see uh, nothing is impacting your uh, laptop or machines that you can use your old old system as well and also you can see over here i'm just using this two model like i can utilize this cloud model like which is huge billion parameter like one is 180 billion parameter and another one 67 1 billion parameter which is cloud version and it is completely it's local so that we will build and how we can actually uh, integrate once i install this and then in, that we will show in this session so let's moving to uh, implementation so before we start to implementation so if you first time visit my channel so this is my channel dot not real world example and the last session actually we just built this you know dot net aspire with this you know ai agent building and also we have just built you know microsoft agent framework using that agent and there's a couple of more session actually if you want you can learn like how we can integrate ai in our dot net application or any other application like front end back end and also like how to build you know game development right as a full stack development you can learn many many things over here so now moving to uh, integration so first what you can do as of now as of now I'm just using the docker right but if you don't want using a docker you can simply uh, install local uh, uh, install olama in your local so where you can get that so simply you can go to this website olama and there are couple of session actually i just created for that so you can go to over there also but here see there's an official website and here you can just simply download in your local but i recommend just use you know that docker docker site so that actually uh, so i'm especially recommend uh, using the good docker because that is safe and very clean things okay so yeah so uh, if you are using docker so definitely you will get that you know uh, image like as like your local installation so similarly you will get that you know ulama image now this okay so you already have other ulama image in your local so what you need to do simple you can just pull that latest one okay so because this this cloud you know ulama cloud version it is available on the latest version so just update the latest version and once you update the latest version then you can just simply uh run this olama in your local so simply i just i just running this olama my local so if you go to over here so open a terminal now see if i just clear that and olama list so now whatever model i have so this is available over here so as of now i already done so definitely uh if you do first time you have to you know uh, install this model right so for that install this model let me just sign out this model now okay so once you sign out or or actually you don't need to sign out because i already logged in so that's why i, I did the sign out but if you do first time definitely you have to uh, run this command right as like you know we are installing olama in our local so that is the command so you can go to that official website and click it this 
option like cloud model so click on that once you go to that cloud on that now see there is a fine documents is over here so currently they are available model cloud model of this only this this four model like as a queen which is indicated in the cloud and also gpt and 20 billion 120 billion and also this this is a nice model actually so for this actually what you can do simply you can just copy this command whatever you know uh, model you want to cloud model you want right so you can just simply use this command and just change your model like as of now currently they refer for this cloud one right coin three but if you want to change this one so just replace this okay and also see they mention okay olama version 0 0.12 is available only for this okay so just make sure latest olama is download or if you using docker so pull that latest image so yeah i think that pretty much good for here the documentation perspective so yeah also they are providing some documentation you can just use it and also see there's a olama sign in and sign out right so you can just simply update your olama and then copy this uh, command and go to your terminal okay so i'm using this terminal but yeah you can refer any terminal so once you hit enter definitely it will ask actually just sign in uh, your olama so for using this you know cloud model actually we require to uh, log in with the olama so which is completely free you don't need to paid anything and all okay so they are providing this uh, this navigation so simply you can just click that so once you click that it will go to in here right they will go to that olama site and you have if you don't have your you know uh, uh, account so just simply can you can create that account as any sample account right for learning perspective also you can just create a dummy account actually it is not authenticate any you know uh, email and all so you can just simply create any account so once you create account it will just going to over here once you uh, so it will ask okay just connect to your device like this way with your account so simply you can just click uh, connect and also if you want to key so see this is that key actually they providing but yeah as of now i will just be using the local so i don't need to key and all so simply i can connect that so once you connect it will showing you okay devices connected successfully okay so once you uh, devices connected successfully go back to your terminal and simply as of now see nothing is happening over here so what you can do actually i'm using the docker that's why it's not redirecting over here but if you're using local one so definitely it will redirect but if you using docker so what you can do simply you can just control d uh yeah control d over here and just again uh, copy this command copy this command and just paste it and hit enter so once you hit enter now see it is just starting so yeah it, i i have already that uh, model so that's why it is not downloading but if you doing first time so it will take a uh, two or five second only to download because this is just uh, this is just a cloud model right so it is not storing any data in your local so also you can just test it over here like how is working so what is dot net aspire okay so if you ask this question now see how quickly we are getting that response from that cloud itself now see this is that response we are getting over here and also i can show you uh, my cpu gpu utilization using this you know running no impact actually in our cpu and gpus nothing right so that is a beauty actually they are providing olama this uh, launch this cloud model and yeah once you launch this like once you actually set up like your model so you can check okay control d olama list olama list actually okay so now i just install this one right so you can just install this one and this one and let me show you actually which if you're doing if i install first time any model so what happened so might be that can help you okay so simply i can use this guy 121 like so what i can do i can just clear that olama and run and simply paste your model over here that's it okay so see once you hit enter it will try to get that model 
and it will take little bit time not a much time now see it's just 384 uh, no, byte i guess so you get just get this setup quickly and also i can get what is dot net aspire right and if i hit enter hit enter now i should get yeah see how quickly we are getting that response whatever your big model uh, that is doesn't care over here but yeah you can get different different response different different model right because their own capability so i think this is pretty much good for setup right so once you set up done now i can go back and i can okay and check that olama list so once you olama list now see that new model is over here okay and yeah i think now we are good to test over here so first i will test in our you know postman okay so now my uh container is running means my olama is running so my olama is running on this container and this container is see this is that port is listening uh 11434 so if i just click on that so it will also print it okay olama is running so if you're running just simply copy this one and also by default olama if you're local so it will take same port actually olama and this port so copy this you know complete url and go to your any any client client application like as of now i'm using it this way but i'll i'll show you that uh, integrate in our aspire application this which we have completed last time in last session so simply see i'm just putting this url like this is url but you have to additionally add if you're trying to use chat completion right so you just simply use this v1 and then chat and then completion actually this is that you know api endpoint of this olama so you have to use that and whatever model you want so you can just refer the model over here and message actually you can set that okay this is the role and uh, this is that actually system role and this is that user role and here that you can that uh, set that prompt okay and yeah let me check with this model dipsic model click on that and also we'll calculate actually how much take a time actually to get that response okay so yeah i'm not uh, forwarding any video and all but now see i am getting that response 10.6 second only right so this big model i know this get the response with this 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 point of time right and also i'm getting that complete response over here same thing uh, let me uh, integrate in our you know aspire application so yeah that's why i just you know especially recommend last time so go to my channel and take this one because i shared my repository so you can take that repository and if you don't have so yeah you can just use any any your own application so i'm just opening my this is that same application right so which we have just uh, just just build you know last time which have that you know web application as a blazor web application api is a you know api application and we are integrated on our agent over here right so if i show you uh, and also i'm just using that local olama uh, without cloud version which we have implemented last time but uh, don't worry we will just replace it and we will check it over here so uh, what i can do actually yeah simply i can just run this application okay now see my application got running which have that you know uh, ai integration like olama and a local olama and also api and this is our web application and also using cache and yeah my application running if i run this and if i click on that ai agent so this is my ai agent which is integrated in our local uh, olama and this time if i using this so definitely it will utilize in our my gp1 because currently this this application utilize our uh, local model right so which is this so let me go to inside this and yeah currently this is using this model which is local one okay but we will replace with this any of that cloud model but before that i want to show you how actually what is the differences and all right so yeah let me give this agent to write any story so i'll just give this agent to write you know this story haunted house 
and once you hit enter and if i just click on that now see once you click hit enter it will it will go to the hike okay so now see my gpu is going to hike to little bit up and again it's down but yeah it is it is consuming actually my gpu okay so it's normal my gpu is uh, going on 20 percent but once you you know trying to do anything in our you know in our local llm so definitely it will going to hike now see again it's going to hike okay now see now this time actually it's going to very hike in the top 90 percent actually yeah now see i'm getting that result and also it is consuming you know you know full gpu on that time once you get that you know response and now i'm getting that final response over here now it's it should be going to down okay because i'm using that local model and um, over here now see it is a nice uh, it is a nice agent which we built last time and it is just create your story based on your prompt or based on your uh, recommendation right so yeah that is cool so now what i will do i will just change this local model to our cloud model okay so what i can do simply go to uh, that solution and go to my app host project over here and in here now see everything will be same nothing i have to change like url and all that is same but what i can do i can just simply change my model to this to this okay so let me just copy paste over here as a reference and here i want to change the model name so what model i want to use i want to use this model actually uh this is that model actually i just try many time in my local uh, but i did not get a success because this model required actually 16 uh 12 gb actually a uh, vram but my system has only 8 gb or uh, 6 gb i guess so that's why i never actually use this model so now i am very happy actually to see this this opportunity or you know this kind of you know uh, feature is available in olama which is allowed to anyone actually to consume any this huge model right without any gpu and cpu required okay so now i'm just changing to this that's it only okay now i don't need to do anything so now i can just stop this application and run it again okay now my application got running again uh, with the same but yeah nothing but change just only change that model and this time is open this go to that agent section and then here again we'll just ask okay uh, just keep that or write that story of my my recommend my recommendation okay so this is and uh, i want to write a poor girl struggle story uh to this agent so click on hit enter and also we'll see that utilization of cpu and gpu okay so this time it should not go up anytime okay because we are not using uh that local model now see i am getting that response but no hike actually not gpu and the cpu right it is perfectly uh working fine as a local and if you compare last time and this time you will get that nice response respect to last one so see proper title and author and also this is that and properly just formatting and recommendations and again just final uh final story they are writing over here this agent so see this is cool right so that how actually they are working and yeah i think this is fine so this is very easy actually you don't need to extra attention and all just simply uh, just download olama and just you know run this model and log in your olama and that's it okay and just use this model not this model any model let like whatever just providing the documentation so using that and yeah that pretty much good for this olama cloud so yeah thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share